wanted to give you a quick market update of what we're seeing in the Austin real estate market here mid-year. So I'm filming this about halfway through July in 2022, and the market has changed drastically from where it was in January of 2022. So things are so different and it feels just radically different because we were in such a hot market. Over the last year, year and a half, it was impossible to find a house to buy. It was maddening for me, it was maddening for our clients. You were competing against dozens of people on every house, so there'd be dozens of offers on every house. And you would have to waive your appraisal contingency, you'd have to waive your inspection contingency, you'd have to put a bunch of extra money down to buy a home. It was just really uncomfortable and it really wasn't a lot of fun to buy over the last year and a half or so if you had to, or if you wanted to, like me, I wanted to buy real estate, I bought a few rental properties. It was not a whole lot of fun to find a property. It's completely changed today. So here in July of 2022, we're seeing about a normal amount of homes on the market and that feels so crazy because there hasn't been a normal amount of homes on the market for quite a while. We've had such low inventory that our normalcy here now feels insane. At the same time, there's a lot of fear of uncertainty that people are seeing. They don't know what's gonna happen. They see all these articles. Uh, home prices have adjusted down ever so slightly because there is a normal amount of competition on the market and interest rates have gone way up. Interest rates have almost doubled, well, close to doubled since last year. If you're looking at my interest rate I have in the home we're in right now, two and a half percent. I'm actually refinancing this on Monday into 4.25 so I can go buy another one, but they're around 5.73% when I last checked. Again, that fluctuates every week. Check with your lender. It varies on your credit. It varies on your, or your bankability, but they have all doubled since last year. So that's going to affect buyer demand quite a lot. Also, there's a lot of misunderstanding of interest rates and how those works. And people see interest rates in the news and say, oh, the Fed's raising the rates. So that means my interest rate's going to just jump up by that same amount. Not necessarily, but it does affect it. So make sure you're talking to your lender to understand what your payment will actually be. And make sure you know what's actually going on in the market. It's not impossible to find a house anymore. You're not competing against dozens of other people. You may be able to get the seller to cover your closing costs. You're probably going to have a good chance of getting a house at list price, maybe even under list price. So you just have so many more advantages as a buyer right now. It's really an ideal time to buy. I love to buy when everybody else is scared. And this is a great time right now because everybody else is scared. So if you're buying a home and you're going to stay in it for a few years and you can lock in the interest rate that works for you now, you can refinance later when it goes down. Absolutely, it's still a great time to buy. I always caution people from buying a home that they might need to sell in six months to a year unless they have a really aggressive plan to improve the value of that home. I just don't think it's a good idea to buy a home that you might need to get rid of in a year. If you're gonna be in it for a few years, are you gonna be able to hold on to it after you move out as a rental property? Or again, you're doing an aggressive remodel to it and you're gonna increase the value by quite a lot, it's a great time to buy. But your lender is really gonna let you know if this is a good time for you to buy and if you're able to buy right now. If you are, you have a lot less competition and the ball is really in your court. So as a buyer, it's an ideal time to buy. Again, interest rates are high compared to where they were last year, but they're about, they're, they're not even up to where the historical average is, but they're getting close to where historical average interest rates are. And we expect they'll come down here in the next few years. Again, I really can't tell you for sure that's gonna happen. All the pundits and all the experts I talk to say that, but, as long as the payment works for you today, for your rental property, for your primary residence, great, because you have a lot easier time buying right now. Over the last couple years, it was just incredibly hard to buy. But again, guys, you know, if you are a buyer right now, you're in a lot better shape. If you're a seller, you really need to be careful and you need to make sure you price your home right. You need to make sure you make it look great. 
and you need to make sure that you are there to sell your home and you're not saying, I'm just going to try this pie in the sky price. If you're going to do that and your realtor says, hey, it's worth 500, you say, I want 700, probably don't waste your time. Absolutely not going to happen anymore. Maybe that would happen six months ago, still probably not. But it's still a great time to sell a home. Just be realistic and sell your home based on data. Maybe even be a little more aggressive than that. So again, quick Austin market update. We have a lot more listings on the market. They're sitting for longer and they're not selling as quickly. So where this goes, we don't know, but that's where we are right now. And it's a great time to buy. Be a little more careful if you're selling. Thanks guys.